Hello, my name is Chris Bellello, Director of Business Development for Conica Minolta Business Solutions, and welcome back to Conica Minolta Legal TV Network. Just 15 years ago, copiers used analog systems and were standalone devices that did one thing, made copies on paper. The new generation of copiers, including all those manufactured today, use digital technology, similar to those found in laser printers. The older analog copiers produced a copy by scanning an image to an electrostatically charged photoconductive drum that transferred the toner to paper to make a print. Each time a new copy was made, the drum was cleaned and the previous image was erased. However, in a digital copier, the scanned document is converted to a digital file and is temporarily stored in the copier until a copy is made. The image of the document may reside in the copier until it is overwritten or deleted from the copier memory or the hard drive. Most digital copiers use a hard disk drive to store these scanned document images. The same kind of data storage found in a PC. Multifunction printers, hard drives, and the data they potentially contained were never perceived as risk by consumers and businesses alike. Although the federal government, and specifically the Department of Defense, or the DOD, has long established policies regarding MFPs containing hard drives and the end of contract life. With millions of documents being printed, copied, scanned, and faxed on MFPs, it is natural to wonder just how secure is the data captured on the device's embedded hard drive. Adding to that possible security risk is the concern that machines connected to an internet accessible network are even more vulnerable to an outside attack. With the dramatic increase in electronic transfer of sensitive and confidential information, various government-sponsored security regulations have called into question the link between security and the integrity of technological systems. Security technology has become critically important as various organizations and businesses use their electronic systems to comply with government regulations. Recent laws and initiatives on this front include HIPAA, Sarbanes-Oxley, and FERPA, which protects student information, and last but not least, PCI, Payment Card Industry Security. In recent years, most law firms have started to protect all data that might reside in the practice. And of course, protection of data on hard drives was a focal point of concern and attention. In fact, most practices have instituted policy that prohibits users from saving documents or data on a personal hard drive. More recently, attention has been brought to portable storage devices. USB flash drives, portable hard drives, tablets, smartphones, and the like. Most firms are addressing the potential exposure of these devices. With the release of the CBS News story on April 20th, 2010, the public became aware that the MFP could contain hidden secrets and that sensitive and private information could be compromised and fall into the wrong hands. What most firms have not addressed is the hard drive in an MFP. Imagine if your firm was named in the CBS investigative report. How would you respond? What would be your liability? In reality, what would be the risk even if your practice took no action at all to secure any possible image data that might reside on the MFP's hard drive prior to leaving your office? Probably not much. However, there would be a risk and it can be minimized by taking some simple steps to secure the MFP and the hard drive contained inside it. After this story became public, several state legislators started to introduce bills that impose financial penalties and give victims the right to sue MFP owners without taking steps to sanitize the internal hard drive. HIPAA now also requires MFP hard drives to be protected. With passage of this legislation, Firms will be legally liable if the attorney-client privilege is broken because an unprotected hard drive with sensitive data fell into the wrong hands. The biggest concern in MFP security is that data is accessible and can be stolen from the device's hard disk drive, either by accessing the MFP remotely or removing the drive and extracting the data. Add to that the fact that the MFPs are located in public areas of the firm and the potential liability increases. Most manufacturers now offer some form of hard drive overwrite security that erases data stored on the device's hard drive or memory by overwriting it with a series of numbers or characters. These kits are available as options or in some cases come as a standard feature with many MFP models. Hard drive overwrite is performed immediately upon completion of all copy, print, scan, and fax jobs. 
Some vendors offer an extra level of security by providing hard drive encryption using 256-bit AES or advanced encryption standard. Another layer of security that can be added involves the ability to lock the host MFP to the hard drive using a passcode of alphanumeric characters. This means that the data is protected even if the drive is removed from the machine. At the time of decommissioning, relocation, or replacement of an MFP, the entire drive can be overwritten so that all of the data is completely removed. Any leftover image data can be overwritten up to seven times conforming to military specifications. Without a doubt, security of information flowing through MFPs is a serious and growing issue, and the potential for identity theft is real. MFP manufacturers continue to invest a tremendous amount of engineering resources in developing security-related features. Whether the issue is network intrusion, data theft or compliance, manufacturers are offering security technology demanded by internal clients as well as state and federal legislation. Ask your MFP provider if your device has data overwrite or hard drive encryption capabilities. If so, is it turned on? If not, where is the documentation that explains how to? Some vendors offer a program that provides a security service which enables and configures the MFP security options. At Konica Minolta, we call this service BizHub Secure. You should review your entire MFP fleet to evaluate potential security holes. Ask your service provider to provide a comprehensive list of security features on each machine. Older models should provide some basic security measures, password protection and secure printing at a minimum. Newer models should have some kind of hard drive overwrite or encryption capabilities. If you plan to purchase a new MFP, ask for a list of security features. Thank you for tuning in to Konica Minolta Legal TV. Mm -hmm.